my channel and in today's video we are going to be talking about weight loss kind of a weight loss update where I am in my health journey my health and weight loss journey and also the things that nobody tells you about before you start your weight loss slash health journey so we're gonna get into it stay tuned if you want to see more okay so I decided to do this video because I got such a great positive response from the video I made in January about my weight loss progress and kind of what's been going on the things I want to incorporate for this new year 2020 and I really want to talk about the things that nobody tells you about weight loss because whew, starting a weight loss journey a health journey any type of journey it really takes a mindset shift and there are so many things that if you're just watching YouTube or watching people's journey on Instagram there are so many components to their journey that they may not be speaking about that you may not know about and these are things that I want you guys to be mindful about it's still technically the beginning of the year and if you're going to embark on a journey like this I just want to give you guys the real because there are so many things that happen during and during a journey like this one it's very intense you have your highs and lows and sometimes it can just be a lot and this is the side of weight loss that I really don't see people talking about it's usually just these are the steps that I took to get to where I am. This is where I am currently. This is my goal. Hooray, let's celebrate my weight loss. And that's all great, it's fine and dandy, but I like being real with you guys. And you know, I've been on a weight loss journey for a year now, and it's definitely not been easy. And I just have some things that I wanna share with you guys in hopes of inspiring and helping somebody else along the way, just to let you know that you are not alone and the things you might be struggling with, they're totally normal. So the first thing is that a weight loss journey, it really is not that easy. Like I said, a lot of times, even on my channel, I share with you guys what I've done to lose weight. I share what I'm eating, I share my you know workout routines, and from a distance, without knowing what I go through every day, without being in my personal life you probably look at it as like wow she's so amazing she's doing this it probably looks so easy but I'm here to tell you that it is not easy every day is a struggle I just told someone downstairs that I wanted a pizza that is a real moment I still love all the things that I used to eat when I was 50 pounds larger it's just now I know that I shouldn't have them because health is so important to me Every day is a struggle. Every day I wake up battling, do I really want to do these things to get me to my goal or do I want to fall back into my old routine? And especially if you're getting to a point where you're happy when you look in the mirror, you're happy when you look on the scale, you're happy with what maybe even your doctor tells you or the other people in your life, you start like just falling back into old habits. And I'm not gonna lie and say I haven't. I ate pizza last week, but I didn't go binge on an entire pizza like I probably used to do. I use portion control, but it's definitely not easy. You guys, I have some weeks where I just wanna eat like everybody else. I travel a lot. I'm around other people who aren't on a health journey. That is the most hard time. When you're with other people who are not on the same journey as yourself and you're seeing them go out and be great and eating all the things they want to and then sitting down and you can't do that, you guys, it's so hard. It's so hard to stay motivated. It's so hard to get up every day and go to the gym. It's so hard to be active. It's so hard to turn down sweets and fatty foods and carb loaded foods. All of these things are so hard, but you know what? It's really worth it. And so I want to tell you guys that so that you don't look at my journey or anyone else's journey and think, oh my gosh, this is so easy. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna lose weight, I'm gonna work out, and I'm gonna be at my goal. For some people, that may be the case, but for me, that's definitely not how this is going. And it's a hard journey, but the main thing I want you guys to focus on is that if this is really what you want, stick with it because it will all be worth it, but it's definitely not easy at all. The second thing I want to talk about is you're going to compare yourself to the journey of others. You're going to compare yourself to your friends, your family, other loved ones, people on social media. I subconsciously compare myself to the progress that other people are making, but I'm here to tell you Stop comparing yourself. If it's subconscious, you can't do anything about it. But I don't want you guys to get in the habit of seeing maybe a post on social media about somebody having lost five pounds that week and you're like, well darn, I only lost two. Or they lost 12 pounds in a month and you only lost seven. Comparison is literally the thief of joy and you guys, that is the most true statement ever because the bottom line is 
just be happy for the progress that you're making. If you did better than you did at this point last year and you're you're getting closer to your goal, you're closer to success, that is something to celebrate. Like Oh, comparison is the hardest thing. I have so many people reach out to me, even in my personal life, and they say, you know, I've been on keto for a couple of months, but I'm hearing about everybody having these amazing weight loss results and I'm not there yet. And you know what happens to that person who does that? In their mind, they start thinking, I'm not good enough, I can't do it, I'm never gonna get there. He or she is doing it and I can't. And you know what happens? They start falling onto bad habits. They start eating more, they start staying up late and having drinks. They start doing the things that got them to where they were previously. I know it's like, it sounds so easy to tell you guys not to compare yourself to others, but if you can really try it, really try hard to just Focus on your progress, your your goals, and your journey because honestly comparing your journey to that of others will have you feeling inadequate. I've done it before. I think we all have done it at one point or another, but you really just have to get to the point where you're like, you know what? It is what it is. Maybe my body processes things differently. Maybe I have to go a little harder. Our bodies are different. Our journeys are different. Please, like... Oh my gosh, I hear it all the time and comparison will literally have you feeling like you're not good enough. So that's something that if you are doing it, I would highly, highly encourage you to stop. The third thing is that your expectations will not be reality, or they may not be. I know there are so many like memes about, about expectation versus reality, and that's so true. When I go into every week, I have a list of expectations. There are a list of goals that I hope to achieve as far as my health journey and my weight loss and fitness journey. They're not always reality. I went to the gym earlier this week. I thought I was going to use three different machines. I got in there and every machine was full except for the treadmill. So there are going to be times where your expectation might not be equal to your reality and that's okay as well. Things happen. You can sometimes control everything <laughs> in your circumstances, but sometimes you can't. And expectations sometimes don't always equal reality and that is okay. It's okay to be imperfect. It's okay not to meet your mark all the time. If you just miss it by a little bit, that's okay. I just wish more people would get in the habit of celebrating small victories, like non-scale victories. I have a lot of non-scale victories. You know, I might not always make the weight mark, that I want to make for every month but if I wake up and I look in the mirror and I do a little dance and I start smiling and I'm feeling myself that's a success that's a small victory like your expectation might not always be your reality and that's okay the fourth thing is that you more than likely will plateau okay this happens to me every time I'm on a weight loss journey I'm probably in a plateau right now it always happens around 50 to 60 pounds and what happens is my body is so used to the routine I'm in the way I'm eating and I get so used to that routine and I'm so used to what I look like and I start loving what I'm looking like and I don't want to go any harder so you may hit a plateau all that means is it's time to switch things up it's time to maybe work out a little harder a little longer on different types of machines or using different equipment it's time to maybe introduce different foods into your diet I went out a few weekends ago and ate Brussels sprouts and if you know me in real life, you know that I don't even like a lot of vegetables. I have probably my top five and everything else I don't touch. But I found a new way that I like Brussels sprouts prepared. So that might be something that will cause me to be more successful. Trying new foods, trying new seasonings, trying new ways of working out. Just anything that gets you out of your routine, that's something that helps you work through a plateau. So I don't want you guys to think that if you're having a 10 pound weight loss success January through June, that in July through December it might be the same because sometimes it won't. You might hit a plateau, but don't let it stop you. That was how I gained all my weight back the first time I lost 60 something pounds. I hit a plateau. I had a lot of different life events happening and I was just like to hell with it. But I'm trying to stay in the mindset now to where I know even if I hit a plateau, it's okay. Like, I haven't been losing a ton of weight how I did last year, but I'm still consistent. I'm still eating right, I'm still being active, and that's what matters to me. If, if I gain a little, if I lose a little, it's okay, but. I'm gonna push through it and I'm not gonna give up. That's so important. Okay, the fifth thing I wanna talk about is very important and it is that everybody in your life may not be supportive, okay? 
I have amazing people in my life. I have such an amazing support system, friends, family, loved ones, you guys, but not everybody in my life is supportive. There are some people who tell me, it's okay to cheat. You can have that cheeseburger. You can have that drink. Oh, what's it gonna do? You look fine now. Don't keep losing more weight. You're gonna get skinny. There are people in your life who are not gonna be your biggest cheerleaders. And you know what? That's okay as well. Some people might be a little bit envious that you're having success and some people just might see life and weight loss and fitness differently than you. But not everybody's going to be supportive and that's okay. That's why it's great to find your support system who really loves on you and encourages you. Like every time I hit a major weight loss little goal, I text my couple people and we have a little mini celebration. It's not much, but it's nice to have people who are rooting for you and people who are in your corner. And I love being that for other people too because I know how hard it is to lose weight. I know how hard it is to have a mindset shift. It's the hardest thing ever to go from an old way of eating where your brain is receiving messages and endorphins about these foods. All that's training you to do is eat more of it. So to really change your thought patterns and your behavior, that takes a lot. So not everybody is going to be happy for you. Not everybody's going to be in your corner. Corner. not everyone even gets it you know the way I eat keto-ish people don't get it and they think that it's okay for me to take a week off from keto and indulge because I'm on vacation that's not okay <laughs> but you know what you smile you shrug to those people and you go on with your journey you know not everyone is going to get it and that is okay okay number six you will have to adjust to your new body and I see this all the time on YouTube. I'm dealing with it in my personal life. Especially once you have like a major weight loss, your body changes shape. You look different, you feel different, people respond to you differently. And it might take a while for you to get comfortable with your new body. You literally might have to dress differently. You might be going to new stores. You might have a whole new array of clothing that you can actually wear. Like it takes time adjusting to your new body. You might have to find a new style. She has done that. It's not gonna be something that's instant. You might not be 100% comfortable with you, your new body. You've been living in that old body for however many years and that's your normal. So, you know, sometimes as your body is changing, you might look in the mirror one day and be like, damn, I really, I'm not happy with this part of my body. And then some days you may wake up and you're like, you know what, I'm the shit. I can pinch my roll and know that I still look nice and I love the way I look. But it's definitely, it's a process. Your body's constantly changing and sometimes you're not gonna love it but that's all a part of the process okay number seven you may not like your new body so this is something that I really want to talk about because I after having lost 50 plus or minus whatever pounds um, I like the way I look but there are certain areas of my body now that I'm unhappy with and I know a few people have asked me what I think about like VSG surgery or what I think about skin removal surgery, lipo, lifts and tucks and all that. I am in support of anything that anyone wants to do with their body as long as it is not hurting anyone. I don't even care if it's something that I don't agree with as far as like making yourself look like everyone else. If it's going to make you happier and you're doing it really for yourself, I'm here for it. You know, I'm not, that doesn't bother me. But there are some days when I look in the mirror and I'm like, mm, if I just had a little nip or a tuck or a suction, like I would look and feel so much better. So I'm definitely not against surgery. I'm trying to wait until I hit my goal or somewhere near that goal because I'm definitely not done losing weight. And I probably will dive into some plastic surgery. I know that some of my loved ones are not too on board with that. But like I said, as long as you are being safe and you know with all surgery they come with complications and risks but you know it's really all about how you look and feel and it's really your decision and I'm not above getting plastic surgery skin removal surgery any of that uh, VSG I don't feel like I need I feel like VSG is a useful tool but for me 
I've had such success now where I don't really think I need such a drastic tool like that. And also, I haven't read too much into VSG just because it's never something that I thought about getting. But I want to say you have to be mindful of your vitamin intake and the way your body absorbs those vitamins, something like that. Like that's just too much. I like to be able to just eat and not think about it. I don't like counting, tracking, measuring, any of that. So that's another reason why I don't think VSG would work for me. And it's also important to know yourself, know the routines that you like to keep and know what things would lead you to success. I'm not somebody that's going to measure all my food and weigh it and do all that. I just know I'm not going to do that. So maybe <laughs> VSG would not be the best for me. But I'm definitely not above liposuction, tucks and pulls and anything like that. Um, and I probably will have some things done when I get to that point. And I may talk about it and I may not. That's just my decision. And yeah, I, I definitely am in favor of people doing what it takes for them to look nice. And I definitely see some surgery in my future. I might get one thing done and decide that I hate the process. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, so those are the eight things that I wanted to share with you guys. I think I kind of lumped seven and eight in there together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really just thought it was important for me to be open and honest with you guys about my journey thus far and things that I wish people had told me before I started my journey because we all go into it so amped and excited and that's good, but sometimes it's also good to be realistic and know that it's called a journey for a reason. There are going to be peaks and there are going to be valleys and there are going to be things that you struggle with. And it's okay. It's all part of the process. And overall, it's worth it. And I'm enjoying my process. So I hope you guys are too. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Much success to you on your journey. If you are starting, feel free to comment down below. Hit me up in my email. DM me on Instagram. People do it all the time. I like being there for you guys because I know how hard this journey is. So thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.